Well, Kivi, that was fantastic. Thank you very much. And things have paradigmically shifted. They have changed in a way that perhaps not for another two or three or four generations will we experience. Conventions of business, vendors, suppliers, growers, retailers, distributors, product and service vendors to our industry have shifted. Many are actually not there. Others have simply downsized. Others have totally changed their channel distribution and the methodology with which they do business. This is a shift and a paradigmic shift that is taking place across every single sector of commerce the globe over. I want to share with you change that occurred to me some 14, 15 years ago. And I share this with you vicariously. You talk about change. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. I came to this magnificent country, the United States of America, some 14, 15 years ago with my wife and my four beautiful children. My wife is actually from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where her parents still live today. We decide to relocate to the United States, I go to Pretoria, where you have to apply for foreign exchange control to take money out of South Africa. And they give me a check for $860.22, for which I thank them. Those herds of zebra, impala, giraffe, two, three, four hundred strong, moving through those plains, volatile, Dangerous, complex, complicated trading environment that is perilous. And they ask but only one question. What is it that I need this day to survive? How do I not get taken out today? What thing from the world outside of me that does not exist inherently within my organizational proficiency do I need to bring from the world outside to enhance my efficiency and efficacy today. But what, ladies and gentlemen, of those majestic predators of Africa, lion, leopard, cheetah, hyena, follow me here. They live in precisely and exactly the same complex, complicated, perilous market space. But they ask an entirely different question. What is at the premise of their operational methodology? Are they process-centric? Or are they perhaps result-centric? Do they have the courage to hunt the market they have been given, not the one they want? Are they willing to accept that flux, transition, dynamic permanent shift and movement from old, staid, habitual trading habits are simply a thing of life? And will they insist on coming into the market space on a daily basis and simply asking, what is it that I have this day that will just bring me that much closer to permanent long-term client relationship? This, ladies and gentlemen, is what a corporate mission statement looks like in the African bush. Do not need a thesaurus to understand this. Do not need a dictionary. You see, there's a fundamental problem in Africa. You cannot find a McDonald's. Domino's pizza will simply not deliver. You cannot pick up and pull around a Starbucks and pick up a cup of coffee. Hunt or be hunted. Have a good day, sign God. And that actually is precisely how simple it is. You see, we often speak about leadership. But in fact, I share with you this, which is a global phenomenon. What we mean so many times is not leadership at all. It's actually findership. And in this lies the difference. 
you see the folks that walked into that Bachman think tank one morning, four years, two years back, and said, we have an issue. We're in the flower business. We're in the business of purveying natural product through channels of distribution to people that consume it for both aesthetic and sentimental expression. Our market has significantly shifted. These are the numbers we can typically do. This is where we're going. And this is what we have with which to do so. Those, ladies and gentlemen, are leaders. Finders walk into precisely that same meeting with precisely the same articulation. And they share, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're looking to go, and this is what we need with which to do so. Those are finders, a dime a dozen. But the courage to hunt the market you have not the one you want, it takes courage. It takes courage. It takes tenacity to be able to dig in and say, I'm a result-centric thinker. I will deal with that which is in front of me, not that which I wish was in front of me. And things have paradigmically shifted. They have changed in a way that perhaps not for another two or three or four generations will we experience. Growing up in South Africa, Kitty Bernhardt was fascinated by the hunting habits of Africa's most successful predator. His upbringing sensitized him to thinking about how his childhood interest could be utilized to help people to more successfully achieve their objectives. The lessons he gleaned from his observations of the animals of the bush became the basis of his internationally acclaimed business book, Leopardology, The Hunt for Profit in a Tough Global Economy. This book has been incorporated in the MBA program of business schools across America. Kivy has been described by Meeting Magazine in 2010 as one of the top 10 platform speakers in America and by an International Speakers Bureau as one of the most promising and talented speakers in the world today. Kivy will introduce you to the pillars of positive predatory thinking. He will show you how the strategies of the natural wild can be applied to your own work. In his talk entitled, The Hunt for Excellence, Critical Lessons from the African Leopard. that I came up with. Lepidology, Cheryl, in a nutshell, that simply describes a thinking methodology, critical business thinking, of the business experience I have had here in the United States, explores and examines the hunting habits and techniques of the African leopard. The leopard. The leopard. And parallels its strategies and methodologies from the bush to the border. Thank you. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. All my family is still back there. I do have a sister living in Pittsburgh. Uh, I was born and raised there. We came to this incredible democracy, the United States of America, 11 years ago with 13 pieces of luggage, uh, my four daughters, and a check for $860.22. You go, boy. You better believe it. <laughs>